I've got 10 projects that you can make out of your scrap wood or your drops so that you don't have to waste all that wood and be roasting all those marshmallows. Let me show you what I got. How you doing? I'm Matt with 731woodworks.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you 10 projects you can make out of your scrap wood so that you have less waste. Hopefully you can take these and give them as gifts or you can sell them. Some of these I've built myself. Some of these Miss 731 bought at different stores. Let me show you what you can do. So if you're like me and you don't like getting rid of your scrap wood, it piles up and you wind up having a mess like I've got going on now. I've got a shop cleanup day coming soon. So as you can see on these shelves, I've got tons of scrap wood, everything from pine to plywood, to even some exotic woods like spalted tamarack, some purple heart, things like that. So we have a lot of extra wood laying around in the shop. If you've been woodworking very long, you know that you pile that stuff up. We don't wanna get rid of it, we wanna make stuff with it. First scrap project I wanna to talk to you about, there's a video on the channel if you look back, it's in the description below, how to make these chevrons. We sell these in sets of three. They're nice sellers, about $30 a set. These are really nice. You can make them out of one by sixes or one by fours, which is what this is. Super simple to make. Also, on that same video, number two on our list is these Lazy Susans. You can get this square version like this, or if you want a round version, you can use, which is what I use, one by sixes, put those together, made a nice round Lazy Susan. Those are also nice to have in your portfolio. Number three on the list, mallets. Man, the mallet build, if you hadn't seen that video, go check it out. Those are some pretty nice mallets. I was actually pretty happy with how they turned out. Uh, so these are, I call them scrap wood projects because there's very little material that's actually in a mallet. This is a white oak mallet I made a while back. This is the 10 commandments mallet that I made on that video. I've actually got some resin coming from a company who wanted to send me some and see if I like it. And we're gonna inset, I'll make a video. We're gonna inset these coins that I've, I've already glued in there. I wanna seal those in with that clear epoxy. I think it's gonna really look good. I'm kind of excited to see how that works out. So mallets is my number three pick. These super simple little totes, a lot of people call them beverage totes. They'll put dividers in there so they can put a six pack of soda and stuff in there with little bottle openers on the end. You can customize them with monograms on the end. This was bought locally by my wife and this thing would be super simple to make. This is like a one by 10. This is made out of a one by eight and then whatever that piece, probably just a drop off of a one by eight. Very easy to make. And you can super simple glue and brad nail this thing together. It's using our bathroom as decoration where she puts our hand towels as well as my aftershave, things like that in there. Also, if you want some fantastic aftershave, I'll put a link in the description below to this one. It'll burn your face off, but it's awesome. I love this stuff. I use it every day. And I use it on my bald head, makes it real nice and shiny. Number five on our list is a super simple shelf. Man, I just screwed this thing together. This is a one by four on the edge. This is one by six as shelves, screwed and glued. Super simple. Put one on the very bottom, put one in the middle, one, I mean, space them out however you like. And then just a grass rope up top with some holes drilled in there. And we've had this thing for years. We've used it in the living room. We've used it different places for just wall decoration. Now it's in the kid's bathroom where they can store toilet paper and rags, things like that on there. Super, super simple. Number six on the list. You believe people buy this stuff now, I'm telling you. Number six on the list, let me show you. It's just a four by four, man, come on. With some dots put on it, so they made it as dice. Just cut them in squares. You can paint them, distress them, whatever you want to do, and then just put some black dots. And they're not even, they're not even uniform. My wife bought these somewhere as decoration. And I mean, super simple. Two dice, scrap wood. Number seven on the list, something you can use in the shop, push sticks. Come on, push sticks. Mr. Lawrence Lundford sent me these as gifts. Thank you very much. He knows I love that Ambrosia maple. Check that out. That is a beauty, beauty of a push, of a poop. I can't even say it. Of a push, <laughs> of a push stick. I got it. So it's got walnut on the bottom. It's got that Ambrosia maple on the top. So this is curly maple on the top. This one's a little thinner for thinner material. This is a little thicker. These things are fantastic. 
you could make these out of scrap wood. If you got some drops, perfect way to make you some push sticks. All red woodworking sent me this one. It's made out of plywood. It's got that walnut foot on the back. This one keeps your hand way away from that blade as you're pushing it through. This is fantastic. I appreciate this gift it's from Brother Riv at All Red Woodworking on Instagram if you wanna go check him out. That's seven so far. We got three more to go and we'll take you inside and show you what we're using some scrap wood projects for in the house. Come on. So our eighth scrap wood project are these little paw prints. These are just one by sixes that were cut in square pieces. As long as they are wide, that's what square means, right? And then some paw prints painted on there and then our dog's names were put on there. We actually ordered these on Etsy. When they come in, they were a little out of square. And so I had to wind up squaring them up and repainting and all that. So if you're selling those, make sure they're good and square for people. These are very simple projects. So these actually come with hanging hardware. We just have them sitting on that shelf and they're just, they're just, man, it's super simple. So if you've got something like this, you got somebody who can put these on, these are just cricket letters, cricket, cricket. These are just cry cut vinyl letters that are put on a paw print that was painted on there. So if you could get, there's actually, that's a paw, that paw print's cricket too, isn't it? So that paw print with that letter is just cry cut vinyl. So if you've got yourself a cry cut or a silhouette vinyl cutter, you just cut these paw prints out, stick them on there. Might be a good seller for you. So we have one for each of the dogs that have lived in this home. Sasha and Zeus were our standard poodles. We've lost them. Uh, we got Coda and Charlie that you've seen on the videos. And then Mia, the grand dog, is up there as well. We paid $7 a piece for these on Etsy. So if you're looking for pricing help, that may help you out. Number nine on the scrap wood project. These little scrabble tiles are made out of quarter inch plywood or Luan. And then the cry cut letters or silhouette letters if you got a vinyl cutter. Uh, very, very simple to make. Uh, Miss 731 wasn't happy because that E wasn't on there perfectly straight. So if you're selling those, make sure that you're getting that stuff straight. How much you say you give them? These are three inch by three inch square tiles. We bought them on Etsy for $2 a piece. Uh, make sure if you're selling these, you offer them in a variety of colors, as well as, you know, obviously the letters for Scrabble. This is in the dog room. You can see the dog canvases over here, all five dogs, plus their names on this wall. So it's a good idea to offer stuff like that for pets, because a lot of people like to buy things for their pets. Let's move on to number 10. Number 10 on our list, it's a paper towel holder. This is a one by six. I just painted it with distress, like our distressing technique. I'll drop a video on how we do our distressing. That with a paper towel holder that just screws on there, put it on the wall with some command strips. And it's super simple. It's a great way to add a paper towel storage just to a wall. And we don't actually screw it into the wall. It's on that board. It's just kind of cool. I'll give you a few bonus scrap wood projects you can make. We made this little sign out of one by fours and quarter inch plywood, use a deer stencil. I'll drop a link to it as well on Amazon. Look, you build a frame like this, very simple to make and just put a deer stencil or any kind of uh, artwork that you want on there. And then you can sell those or make those for your as gifts. Also this O is just scrap wood. It's actually scrap trim pieces. Again, Miss 731 bought this somewhere. Uh, so if you get an idea, if you have a lot of trim pieces, you can put those things together like this, make you a nice little decorative last name O or whatever your last name happens to be. Also serving trays are a good idea. A lot of people like those. I've got, I built a couple of those over time. So if you got some scrap wood, you can put those things together. That's another thing you can add to your portfolio. One more bonus item. I'm sorry, there's like 14 that you can make. I said 10, but who's gonna gripe if you get extras, right? Somebody will. Hey, so if you've got some exotic hardwoods, you can make these charcuterie boards. Charcuterie, isn't that fun to say? This is just zebra wood. I got this as a gift actually. And so you take this type of wood, if you've got just a drop, a little piece left, and just cut a design in the end, a handle is all they did. And so that's, that's a really neat way to use up your exotic hardwoods if you've got something like that. Super simple. There's, I mean, it's not even beveled or anything on the edge. It's just square cut with that nice little design handle right there. I mean, excellent way to use up some exotics. Nice charcuterie board. Charcuterie. Yep. Hey, if you like this video, click that box right there. It takes you to the next set of videos. If you click that box, you get that big old virtual fist bump. Also, if you can click that one, that's another one of my favorite videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, click that subscribe button. We've got a lot of new content coming. It's going to be awesome. Thank you.